When installing SureCuts Lot 3 Pro, it is best to download it from our support page, uscuttersupport.com. There you will find the latest version of the software available for download. Once you are at the website, scroll down to the heading listed for software. In the right-hand column in the subcategories, you will find SureCuts Lot 3 Pro as the first option. Following that, you will find the link to download the software within the second option listed as SureCuts Lot 3 Pro. Select the option which is appropriate for you, Windows or Mac. Once you download the software, be sure to run the executable to start the installation process. At the end of the installation process for Shortcuts Lot 3 Pro, there will be an option to install the driver for your model of cutter. Select your model of cutter from the drop down menu and then press OK. Since we are working with the MHMK2, we will be selecting that model. Once the installation for the driver is finished, you will want to reboot your computer. When your computer is finished rebooting, select the desktop icon for Shortcuts Lot 3 Pro. It will then prompt you to activate the software. Select the Activate button and enter your name and serial number in the following window. You will find the serial number on the back of the CD case for Shortcuts Lot 3 Pro. It is the 25 digit number with a dash every 5 digits. Be sure to include the dashes when entering the serial number. If you have internet access, it is unnecessary to select Activate manually. Once we have activated Shortcuts Lot 3 Pro, in the software we will want to select the cut icon. It is the icon with a pair of scissors. A window will appear which is listed as My Cutter. In that window, select Manage Cutters in the lower left hand corner of the window. In the next window, there will be a drop down menu that is listed Company slash Brand. Select US Cutter which will be towards the bottom of the list. Under Model, select your model of cutter. In this case, we are selecting the MH model. Following that, select Add to List, Done, and then in the next window, select OK. To check to see if your software is communicating with your cutter, select Test Connection. The carriage on your machine should move back and forth a little, and the feed rollers in and out. That is how you will know if your cutter is communicating properly with your cutter. Congratulations, your cutter is now set up and ready to cut.